welcome back to better video welcome back to the channel man so look man we got wazoo back on the channel you know what i'm saying and this video that popped up in my recommended today while i was searching for one direction content to check out and it was this right here one direction talking about each other now when i react to the other wazoo video like the other day i saw that this was at the end so me saying that i gotta check those out the google stuff y'all know that y'all know that y'all be like hearing you because like when you talk about stuff it'll pop back up for your recommended like no matter what you do no matter if it's youtube no matter if you say that you need like Let's say, for instance, right, you need a new wig, ladies. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you do that, it's going to pop up all on, like, Google ads and stuff, popping, talking about wigs and stuff like that, because that just be hearing you, at least I feel like. So, this is what we're going to check out today. It is 12 minutes long, so we finna go ahead and get straight up into this thing. But if you guys are new to the channel, man, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I don't want to 15,000 subscribers. Other than that, though, hey, let's check it out, man. Detective Niall in the build, like in the flesh, bro. Is he signing? Like he was signing papers. Favorite song at the moment. Uh, I like I like new rules. Uh, do I like? I like. Um, uh, I like Camila's song, Havana. Really like. I really like this song. Zen and, um, see ya. For five years, pretty much yeah, nonstop, Lee. you spend all your time with these guys from One Direction. From the stage, to the hotel suites, to the tour bus. Who's the mess? Now see, this clip might get blocked, bruh. Because I understand you guys wanted the hot ones. With Liam, I think some other people did it, but I only did one hot ones reaction. And that was to Shawn Mendes, right? I thought it was gonna go out. Them, boy, they blocked like crazy. They block, bro. I'm talking about they is on James Corden level, and it's crazy because you're on YouTube, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, they block just like James Corden. So this might be cut out. Y'all might not even be seeing this right now. Yes, roommate. Mm, I mean, Louis was always the messiest. You just find like random socks and stuff around the place. It's just mm. random stuff strewn along the bus. He leaves a trail. Mm. Yes. Over the years, who have you seen cry, physically cry the most? Harry. Uh, Harry. Harry Crow when we first got the soda deal. Ma many times a happy to you. Who's the most fun to have a cheeky beer with? Cheeky beer. Uh, <laughs> I think Nana. Nana likes a cheeky beer now every so often. If he said bless me, I appreciate it, man. Say actually as well with the boys. I mean, uh, we love them, you love them. Yes, we do. Anything you don't miss. Were there any bad habits on tour? Uh, like Louis on a tour bus was like my worst nightmare. I'm like I'm like quite um <laughs> quite of like the OCD. Oh right. Um Damn, you know, man. and so, we'll so Louis really is messy. Time or whatever, and Louis just had this like junk bunk. There was like a mm. spare bunk, and it was basically just for Louis's crap. Mm. Oh, no. So it'd be like mm. his football gear, his boots, like thousands of games from PlayStations outside, like with the discs out. So there was discs everywhere and covers everywhere. Chaos. Yeah. But... Check this out, right? If you guys came on live stream, you guys know how I am, right? I always got my bed made up. Uh, I always got my cover folded at the, at, the, at the front of my bed, bro. Like, okay, so college is just, so I I didn't move off to college. Like I'm 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 at home. I'm driving to my college. It's about an hour and a half away. You know, it's just a cheaper option because the college I go to it's on a beach. So you know, beaches prices skyrocket. You know what I'm saying? So um, I just drive. It's way cheaper. Like way cheaper. I'm talking about percentage wise. It's probably like eighty percent cheaper to just drive, bro. You know, but um. If I was going to move down there, bro, I was going, like, I actually, like, told the people who I was going to move with, I was like, bro, you cannot be messy. You cannot. Like, that's my biggest pet peeve, bro. I'm not finna room with you if you messy. Like, I can't stand it. My mom doesn't, like, not, bro. My mom does not like being messy, bro. Um, I'm talking about it's as simple as crumbs on the table. You got to get up and you got to, you got to, you got to clean that up, though, for sure, for sure. So, I'm not a messy person. Um... It's just all about that. Like, to me, I'm just not messy. I don't like being messy. And then the fact that, like, a roommate, if you messy as a roommate, that's what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't finna room with you, bro. So, I gotta see, like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta take care of your stuff, bro. You know? Like, you can't be messy around me, though. For sure, for sure. Like, we was gonna go through, like, a, a whole draft pick order type to make sure that your ass ain't messy. 
know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got, I wasn't gonna have the time for it, and I don't like being on messy area, but because like to me, if you in a messy like environment, bro, it really alters your mind to you become like sad or something. I don't know. It's not. It probably is like I don't know though. Just when stuff is messy around me, bro, it's like, damn, bro, like uh. I get, I get, I get, I get mad, bro, because it's like, bro, like, you around me, bro, like, clean up, I don't know, bro, I, I just don't like being messy, bro, I, I don't know, I, I can't, I can't stand that John, though, no cap. But, um, that's probably, yeah, I, I don't miss, yeah. That would yeah. drive me mad. I yeah. got some OCD, so too. Hey, yeah, sure, I got some. question, mm -hmm. which is, uh, what is the one thing you really do not miss about being in the band with the boys? <laughs> um, and when Niall was here, mm. he put you on blast a little bit and said it was your junk bunk on the tour bus and yeah. how messy you were. Proper messy, yeah. <laughs> was it, was it and he owned up he to it, though. Was it really fully probably, messy? Probably worse. I don't know what he said, but... Um, he was. He, there was something about computer games everywhere yeah, uh, without boxes. The, yeah. Oh, that's very polite. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only guy, the only lad I have actually sent this song to was Niall, and it was, I think, because we worked with... Um, We've worked with a couple of the same writers and he'd heard that the song um, was good, apparently. Um, so, yeah, so he texted me saying, I really need to hear the single. So I sent him it and he sent me like a nice little voice note back. It's like, Tom has got a banger. So it was, uh, yeah, it was nice. I said some things about my heart. Nice. Oh, go back now. Zane has the voice here. It's cool. Leon gets the crowd going and there's me. Hmm. This I've always been like for now. It's a mess up the guy in the world. We were both the least confident that is what Tessa is. Alright, here they both got the ownership here again. Dang, bro. Sound like he's um, on. Oh, did you hear what Niall Damn. said about you on the radio just... in Australia? I did. He's lovely, oh, really, Niall. He this. melts my heart. He's lovely. Oh, I, lo he's lovely. I love this. I love this. Because uh, if you didn't hear this, we're going to play a little clip of it. Nice. Um, this was Niall on. Is it Australia, wasn't it? I in think so, Australian yeah. Australian yeah, yeah. radio. Um, talking about Louis. Where he's an unbelievable guy, a uh, great singer, and, and someone that if, if, you know, I'd say we would have lost the plot along the way if we hadn't had Louis. He was. Uh, a very, very, very extremely vital member of, of One Direction. Oh, I love that. He's, he's lovely, Niall, honestly. Melts me heart always. Oh, yeah. Melts me heart man. always. I, nice knowing that you know, like someone's got your back like that as well. I love that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And, and you know, it was um, like that interview that I did that kind of provoked that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? I never asked Niall to come out and say, I just think things like that, they really mean a lot to me. It's proper sweet. Yeah, yeah, real sweet. I like that interview, by the way. I thought it was good. Yeah, it was very open. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, it was quite hard for me to read back, to be quite honest. But yeah, I think it was good. Do you do that, though? Do you ever, like, read stuff back or, or watch stuff back? or? Not not normally, but because that one, I was so open and honest. Obviously, I wanted to feel the tone of yeah, it yeah, yeah. and see how it was written. Um, but yeah, yeah, hopefully it was all right. No, it was good. But uh, get low is still a bop, bro. Get low is gay. One Direction is obviously y'all are all off on your own projects, but do you get to see each other? Do you keep in touch? Yeah. Um, see, Louis came to my show in LA a couple of weeks ago. Uh huh. Um, I'm going to see Liam uh, next week. Mm -hmm. Seeing Harry this week. So uh, yeah, we see, we see each other all the time. That you come from a group like One Direction. You guys had so much success. Everyone's now doing great things. Do you have kind of like a playful bit of competitiveness about like, I want to be the best in that amongst each other? You know what? Um, I actually just spoke to Niall a couple of days ago. The truth of it is, it's not even like that, to be honest. I wish it was a bit more like that. <laughs> we just really support each other. And I even spoke to him the other day. I was saying to him, I'm really proud of, uh, you know, like how well his music's doing. It's almost like an older brother watching him, and uh, it was cool to have that conversation with him. So, yeah, we support each other. There's no real competition, I don't think. Uh, no. So, we all, we all like keep in touch on that. And, um, Same. But actually, weirdly enough, I spoke to Zane about three weeks ago. 
uh, we had a big conversation on, on, on text and stuff, but uh, Zane's the kind of fella that changes his number every five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where he's at. <laughs> Who's out of the band do you like the most? Oh, that's, a, that's, that's a, good a, question. Question. That's a good question. I like it, I like it. Um, I'm going, it's difficult. I'd say Niall, probably. It's probably closest to what I would um, listen to. Are you keeping in touch with I, I would put their music on the same level, though. I would. Um, I would, I would. Now, Liam and, and Zane kind of got the same type of music vibe. Now, Harry's, bro, Harry's is, I just love listening to Harry music, bro, but I feel like Louis, okay, okay, Louis and Niall has the same type of vibe going with their music, and then you got um, Zane and Liam got their same type of vibe uh, music. I feel like Harry's kind of don't have no similar kind of. Not really. Most. Who am I keeping touching the most? Um, I mean, it's pretty equal, but I say now. Ha have you got a WhatsApp group? We don't have a WhatsApp group, but we should. You we should. We should have a WhatsApp group. It's so much easier. Should. Have you seen Harry's debut acting? I haven't seen it yet, but I'm very excited. To I, see it for a bruh, I still ain't watched Honestly, that movie, bro. I that's still why it's didn't. frustrating for me sometimes to read some press about, you know, that we love to write the. You know, we don't like each other that much or whatever. But honestly, I can't tell you the feeling that I get is like, I feel like a big brother. When I look at a video of Niall playing the stadium to a radio show, or see Harry stood next to Tom Hardy. I mean, come on, yeah. it's amazing. Just feel <laughs> really, really proud, actually. It's real nice. Yeah. Spoken of Harry lightly. No, but I was just, I was actually going to text him and ask him what's going on with his hands. Has anyone, has anyone heard what's of What's going on with his hands? What, I don't know, he was wearing like a, uh, yeah, a bandage around his hand. Oh, I that's only in the last few days. So yeah, I right. spoken, that man was in that. That man was in them dirt. The 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 dirt. Okay. That man was in them dirt Kirk trenches. No, no, he was in the dirt Kirk. Well, damn. The Dunkirk Kirk trenches. Favorite song of Harold's is. Um, I like Kiwi. Great tune. Good rock song. Um, to be so lonely. I like. I love to go. It's a great song. Easy. Um, easy. To be so lonely. Listen, yes. Crazy to listen easy. To. Um, like Carolina, um, but not on, on the real though. I'm so sorry, but all of Harry's songs on Fine Line that start from the top, that top portion is gas, bro. Um, and that's how it should be because if you guys don't know, I'm pretty sure artists do it this way because you don't start off an album with booty songs. You just don't do it, right? So all the best songs are going to be at the top. That's why most of the time, all like the the good, and it's not all the time. You know, there be stars down there at the bottom uh, of the albums and stuff like that, but all the gas songs be up there at the top, bro, because they start off the album with gas, and then, you know, the gas kind of runs down as it goes down, you know? Meet Me in the Hallway. There's some good, really good songs in the album. I really enjoy it. Favorite. By the way, how was, uh, how was my friend Harold? I seen you were with him. He was, he was very good. I, you know, I actually asked him a question that you had asked, said to me, because you know how, like, you're no longer blonde, right? Mm. And you said that was the best thing that ever happened, was that no one recognized you anymore because you weren't blonde. And I was asking him if he was able to like to go out and you know go to lunch or go to dinner or if they worked out that he was Harry or and he was like no you can literally just like just put on a hat or whatever and if you don't walk around town like with like three beefy security guards yeah. and someone pushing someone out of the way or getting out of a Bentley somewhere people <laughs> in this town are just like eh, whatever yes. you know I'm trying uh, to be more famous whatever. than you are <laughs> 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 Harry doesn't walk around the streets of LA in like one of his colourful suits or whatever he just wears around in his t-shirt and jeans so he gets away with it oh, I'm I was like he's still closest to Louis. I see Louis. Lu Louis loads. I mean, I speak to him saying once a week. They live right. They live. They live. They live. They live okay. Damn, I'm stuttering. They live right. They, oh, okay, let me just shut up. You know what I'm trying to say? They live that close together. Dang, I don't know why I'm stuttering. We're not texting each other every day, but what we do. Have, Dang. Do you remember the moment where it fully hit you that One Direction was done? I don't like to read anyway, bro. Shoot. Um, yeah, I think that last tour show, that last tour show, we did a show in uh, Sheffield. She's like twenty minutes away from where I live, so a special show for me anyway. Um, and uh, I've got this amazing footage on one of my phones. I'm praying I ain't lost it. 
um, of this like time lapse, and I just did it of the dressing room on that uh, on that whole like day, last day of the tour in my dressing room. And yeah, there was a moment where me and Nal just sat on the sofa and kind of took it all in. Do you know what I mean? Had a moment to ourselves, and yeah, it was a pretty heavy day to be fair. Pretty heavy. Yeah, you said that if you could be any celebrity, Jeez. Niall, because nothing because nothing bothers Niall. Yeah, he's calm, cool, collected. Still, is that still the nah, celebrity? Nah, he just get to laughing. Day? Definitely. Wow. It's, like, it's just like, what a, it just sounds so stress free. I once seen some fans talking online saying, it's easy to be a Nile fan, isn't it? And it is. <laughs> just no drama, lovely lad, you know what I mean? Never gets himself in trouble. Like, yeah, it's just easy. Easy it's a good going, life. man. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, it's now, not are you perfect. excited when you hear the other guy's new music? Oh, yeah. No, I'm delighted for Louis. He, I know he'd been trying to capture his sound for a while, mm -hmm. and he's. Definitely nailed it this time. He, he, it's the kind of stuff he listens to, the way he dresses, it just suits him and everything, yeah. Now, who would you rely on? Who would you talk to when you were feeling those, that, that sort of pressure? I feel like me and Louis always had the most connection through everything because, I mean, there was a point where we did not get on at all. We at the beginning, you were not friends, There was you? huge friction. Like, we just, there was a, we had this one massive row one night where, like, he was, like, playing my video from when I was 14 on the show by myself when Simon said, no, like, replaying it in the bedroom. I, like, oh, God, <laughs> I remember I this. Like, I'm so bad right now. <laughs> was, like, and Simon's yeah. going, it's a no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I mean, at the start of it, me and him just didn't click at all. And I think it's because we both had that leadership thing within us. But then we kind of got to a point where there were certain things he was better at making decisions on, and then there was other things that I was better at making decisions on. So we kind of bonded together. And then, I mean, bless him, I mean, Lou has been through so much in the last few years ever since the, the band true. ended and whenever i have a problem whenever he has a problem we always call each other about and make sure we check in and whatever else so and so are you in touch with the other guys as well because louis you're obviously still quite close with i don't know if he's in but are you in touch with the other guys yeah i mean i, I speak to nile every so often um uh, i haven't spoken to harry in a long time now uh, you're having a crisis which one deep how would you turn to out of all of them. If you're having a crisis, Niall, because he will take every bad moment and make it happy, right? It just get to laughing. Bose, and we both kind of lean on each other for a lot of different things. I would say Louis is the one that I turn to the most. I think when we were in the band, if there was ever like a problem band-wise, me and him would always try and figure it out together. So we often do that through life now as well, which is good. You love to see it, my baby. Wait, so Harry's new album yeah. come out. You enjoyed that one? Yeah, really good. It's very, very good. Mm, it's, it's, very, nice. it's very Harry. It's very the music that he and I would listen to. Yeah. That's why I, te I texted him when it came out. I was like, all your influencers are there. You've just smashed it and nailed it. Uh, and it obviously went number one for a couple of weeks as well. And yeah. So oh, flying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got up with um, Niall last week and he mentioned that he'd be listening to your album and absolutely loving it. Now, have you had a chance to no, listen thanks. to his while you've been while you've been staying out? Don't thank me. Thank Niall. Uh, what is your favourite song? Have you listened to his album and what is your favourite song of his? Um, I have listened to his album. The Piano to Put a Little Love on Me, I think. Yeah. Probably that one. Mm. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it is really, really good. Just one song? Harry Styles. Yeah. It sounds like guilty he ain't listen to it, huh? not guilty for crimes against fashion. <laughs> no. He's not guilty. He's a very fashionable young man. I love him. And he doesn't... Yeah, you don't know what he's yeah. going to pop out with on the, car, on a, on the no stage. When you, and me don't mm. you can get that with someone. Uh, uh, okay, don't dislike my video, bro, because I, I, I already kind of knew. When you and me don't judge me. You can get that with anyone else. You don't have to run from it. You could just be yourself. Who's that? That man, Niall. Hey, yo. Hey, bro. That song right there, gas, bro. No cap, gas. That that one right there, and uh, hands. The hands, like, the sweat dripping down your dirty laundry. Bro, that one, gas, bro. But anyways, man, hey, that is gonna do it for the reaction, man. Absolutely enjoyed this right here, bro. I enjoy reacting to 1D, bro. Um, I react to a lot of 1D, though. Like, bro, I've been reacting to 1D for what? Like, three, probably four months now, bro. And I, I still enjoy reacting to it still to this day, bro. We still gotta get it back over there to the uh, solo side, but hey, maybe uh, album reaction soon. Maybe. No promises, bro, because uh, time. Time is just a factor, but like, whenever I get, like, free time, hopefully, like, it'll... Because I think the semester ends, like, first week of December or something around there, bro. I will be so freaking relieved, bro. Because we'll be out for technically a month. And live streams come back. Literally, like, just in a month, bro. 
bro. I'm telling you, bro. Because when I come back on this live, bro, y'all better be here, bro. I'm talking about we better have at least 200, 300 viewers when I come back on this live. Anyways, man, that is going to do it for the reaction, man. If you guys did the job, make sure you guys hit the like button down below. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below as well. On the way to 15,000 subscribers. But, uh, and I don't, hey, it's me more quality care recover, man. I'm out to stay, man. Peace out. Love you guys, man.